Okay, so I kind of wanted to show you this. Uh, um, the wind <laughs> picked up the tent and blew it across my yard. I, I didn't even know that we were having windy days because I was watching. And, and this tent's pretty heavy, and so it must have been a significant breeze. And so it, it basically just the, the concrete just put these holes in the tent. So I've seam sealed over those. Um, so, in, in, you know, I guess this is just an education video. So what I've done is I've seam sealed along the, uh, the, uh, the poles here on the side of the tent. And I've seam sealed along the top right here. So we had a couple of drips down in there. Uh, not much. I mean, this tent's uh, it's staying pretty dry now. Um, I'm just sorry that I damaged the tent. I didn't realize, you know, well, I guess when you think about it, this is where those, those straps connect and uh, pushes up against the fabric and when it dragged across the concrete by blowing across my yard. <laughs> you know, <laughs> I was kind of stupid in that regard. Um, but I think we're good to go on this. And so what I wanted to just make a quick video about is I am going to take along the... Uh, the seam sealant and uh, some of the brushes to to because uh, when I put up this uh, Cabela's Alaskan Guide 4 on the trip um, I figure what I'll do is uh, just what the hell I'll seam seal it you know give it to give it a little added protection once it's up uh, I'm not going to do that before the trip and I am going to go ahead and take this tent fabric sealant and I've ordered another tube of the seam sealant uh, so that uh, at least I've got that, and I've already applied the tent and gear solar proof to this tent. Um, so it's, in, in my opinion, it's good to go. I, I can't pack it away. I mean, this is this is the preparation you have to take, right? Uh, and even and that's another problem, you know. Right now, uh, it's it, I could probably pack this tent away, but it's been a good uh, ten hours, fifteen hours of drying. But you really have to wait till this sealant. Uh, dries it really well i'd probably give it about 24 hours um, because if i rolled this tent up and just packed it away right now you know the fabric's going to stick together and that wouldn't be a good idea and then it'll ruin your um your work on the seam sealant you know so um but uh you know when you look down inside of it uh um we left it out in a major storm we've got it uh, weaponed up and uh, i don't think i'm going to have any problems with rain on this uh oh this is the overnight tent and uh, that's the uh, cabela's uh bomb proof shelter and uh, like i said when i get to where i'm going we'll take the tent fabric sealant uh, my last bottle i'll probably order well actually i got two and uh, i'll take take both of them along and i got some seam sealant and you know while you get while you're out camping what the hell just work on the tent a little bit um so we'll we'll, we'll go ahead and get that done uh, one mistake that I made on the last trip was I just had one sleeping bag because I wasn't expecting cold weather. So now I'm going to have an extra sleeping bag along so that we can uh, take a sleeping bag and throw it inside the sleeping bag and, and be comfortable. Um, so we're getting there. We're getting there. Uh, Tuesday, huge order coming in. Huge order of stuff. I got the seam sealant coming in. I've got... Uh, the videography uh, external microphones coming in, and uh, I think we're getting pretty good to go on the trip. Uh, I'm, I'm guessing uh, not not this coming week, but the next week we'll be on the road. And uh, who knows? Who knows where we're going, right? Could be a 10,000-mile journey. We'll see. So I just wanted to get this on the video, <clears throat> you know, as I work. Um, you know, this is uh, Media Wind Merge. Um, you can go get this on the internet. Uh, it's a, actually an upgraded version. And uh, what I do is I um, merge all my files. It'll do a comparison of whatever directory structure you want it to compare. And um, so I'm in the process right now of, um, you know, backing up all my videos onto my servers. And uh, because I'm trying to get everything off of the laptop. And uh, I expect YouTube to censor me at any time uh, because I am a conservative and uh, they're going to, they're going to, well, they already got me buried down in the algorithm. I mean, if you go to YouTube and do a search on that cybersecurity guy, you won't even find me. <laughs> I'm so far buried under their algorithm. So, you know, I'm trying to get everything up on Rumble. But uh, this has been uploading now for 24 hours. I and mean, look at it, 76%. Yeah, yeah, I could go get uh, another... 
internet service provider and then right now i have centurylink and uh, i don't i don't understand it maybe maybe i guess my upload speeds are just horrendous you know but my streaming because it's gigabyte internet i mean gigabyte i think about it when i was in michigan i had 30 megabyte uh, internet and so i don't understand why it takes so long for me to upload a video um somehow they're throttling me or whatever you know and uh so i'm in the process of basically putting all the videos uh that i think are important up on rumble because i know that youtube's going to take me down at some point so just kind of want to show you what i do and then of course right here this has been going on for the last eight hours uh cumulative update for windows 10 21 h1 for x64 systems installing zero percent so the only thing I know to do is once I'm done copying all my videos onto the server, I'll reboot and hopefully that'll kick that off and we'll get these updates applied to the computers because that's one, you know, before I leave, before I go on a 10,000 mile journey, I want to make sure all the computers are up to date. All my stuff is backed up because who knows? I mean, I could drop this laptop and boom, you know, it's gone and I... Uh, and then I, and if I don't have the, the videos on Rumble, you know, YouTube could just nuke me off the face of the planet. Uh, they've done that to a lot of people. So, you know, this is, this is where we are, people. This is where we are in the world. Um, you know, never thought we'd ever be here with this censorship and uh, everything that's taken place. By the way, I'm watching a Trump rally right now in Iowa. Loving every minute of it. And, uh... <laughs> <laughs> I tell you what, I, 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 you know, I honestly enjoy him. I mean, he's, he's pretty doggone entertaining. That's, that's what I enjoy. All right. Peace out. And let's do the freedom. Oh, freedom. Good to live in the free state of Florida under the leadership of the Republican governor DeSantis.